Hi, I'm Svenja Lona from Science Buddies, and in this video we will show you how to dilute a solution or sample. If you want to review what solutions are and how they are made, you can watch our solutions video linked in the description. Diluting a sample or the solution you are working with simply means reducing the solute concentration in the solution. The simplest way to dilute the solute is by adding more solvent to the solution without adding more solute. Here I have a Kool-Aid solution with a mass concentration of 5 grams per liter. By adding more solvent, or water, to the Kool-Aid solution, I am reducing the concentration of the Kool-Aid, which you can see as the color of the solution lightens. Another way to make a dilution is to take a known volume of the original solution and add it into a new vial filled with a known amount of solvent. This is often the preferred way to make a dilution as you don't change the concentration of the original solution and can reuse it to create many different dilutions. The original solution you use to make your dilution is called the stock solution. Let's use this dilution method and take 100 ml of the Kool-Aid solution and add it to a fresh cup with 100 ml of water. Again we can see that the color of the solution lightens as the Kool-Aid concentration decreases. But what is the Kool-Aid concentration in this new dilution? You can calculate the solute concentration of a new dilution using the following equation. Let's use this equation to calculate the Kool-Aid concentration in our dilution example. The initial concentration of the Kool-Aid in the stock solution, C1, is 5 grams per liter. The initial volume of the stock solution, V1, used to make the dilution is 100 ml or 0.1 liters. And the final volume of the solution, V2, is 200 ml or 0.2 liters. We put these numbers into the equation and can then solve for C2, the final concentration of the new Kool-Aid dilution. The result is 2.5 grams per liter. Our dilution decreases the concentration in half, which is what we would expect when we mix the same amount of Kool-Aid solution with the same amount of water. Scientists often use a specific way of talking about dilutions. You might have come across something like prepare a 1 to 5, sometimes also written as 1 over 5, dilution of your sample. The expression 1 to 5 tells you what ratio of volumes you should use to prepare the diluted solution based on the following equation. In a 1 to 5 dilution, 1 refers to the volume of the sample or stock solution you plan to dilute, and 5 refers to the total volume of the diluted solution which includes the volume of the sample and the volume of the solution used for the dilution. Let's look at an example to see what this means. If we wanted to make a 1 to 5 dilution of our Kool-Aid solution, we would need to take one part of the Kool-Aid solution and add it to four parts of water to make a total dilution volume of five parts. Another way of talking about dilutions is the dilution factor. The dilution factor is the inverse of the dilution and tells you the ratio of the final dilution volume to the initial volume of the concentrated solution. A 1 to 5 dilution has a dilution factor of 5 and a 1 to 10 dilution has a dilution factor of 10. Note that the dilution factor does not give you any numbers for the volumes to use for your dilution. It only tells you the ratio between the initial and final sample volume. So how do we go about making the actual dilution? If you need to make a dilution with a specific dilution factor, there are several ways to do that based on the volumes you choose to make your dilution. Let's take a look at how we can make a 1 to 5 dilution of our Kool-Aid solution. Here is a table that shows some options for how to do that. To make a 1 to 5 dilution of our Kool-Aid solution, we could, for example, add 1 ml of Kool-Aid solution to 4 ml of water. We could also add 20 ml of Kool-Aid solution to 80 ml of water. Or add 0.2 liters of Kool-Aid solution to 0.8 liters of water. The dilution factor for all these dilutions is the same. The only thing that changes is the total volume we have made of diluted solution. 
we will choose the middle option for our dilution. First, we label our cup with the dilution we want to make. Then, we fill a graduated cylinder with 80 milliliters of water. To make our measurement as accurate as possible, we use a transfer pipette for the last couple of milliliters. The bottom of the meniscus should line up with the 80 milliliter mark. Now we fill the water into our dilution cup. Next, we need to add the desired volume of our stock solution. We can measure the required volume in a graduated cylinder or use a graduated transfer pipette for smaller volumes. We add the stock solution to the water and stir until everything is evenly mixed. Now our 1 to 5 dilution is ready. A 1 to 5 dilution is also often called a 5 fold dilution as the solute concentration in the dilution is 5 times less than the original concentration. You can follow the same dilution method to make all kinds of different dilutions. This means you should now be ready to face any dilution challenge that comes up in your science projects. If you need more than one dilution step for your sample, check out our serial dilution video linked in the description. Happy experimenting!